have Megan for adoption. As you can see, Megan's a lab mix. She's a very sweet girl. She's probably about eight months old. I've got my two little dogs out with her already, showing that she's very gentle and sweet with small dogs and very stable and safe with them. She's actually being very shy with them. She doesn't know them yet. Once she warms up, she'll be ready to play with them. Uh, so what I want to do with her now is do a little bit of an assessment. Basically want to show that she's safe with people. So we start with showing that she doesn't have triggers that set off any kind of fear response from her. So I'm going to start by pulling on her ears, manipulating her mouth, playing with her paws. I'll pick her up. Pull on her tail. No response there, huh? Okay. Sit. Flip her over. You're very docile. You know that you're a very sweet girl. So she's being very submissive with me, not at all showing any kind of anxiety. I'm sure this is all strange to her, having a strange guy come along and all of a sudden start doing these things to her, yet she's responding very submissively and calmly. So she's trying to show me that she poses no threat whatsoever. That's her response to uh, strange new situations, which is a very safe response to have for the dog. Alright, okay, sit up. Okay, thank you. In fact, I've got some treats here. She's probably so submissive, she may not even take one. Ziggy, you certainly will. Clearly, she doesn't have food aggression. Good girl. You like that? No? Give it to Ziggy. <laughs> okay. So she's very safe with treats. And if she doesn't feel this need to pursue them aggressively, especially around another small dog. So that's very good. Okay, I'd like to show her unleash just a little bit to show that she's very easy to handle. Okay, Megan, come. Come. Good girl. Come back. Good girl, Megan. Megan, sit. sit. You're so easy to handle. Come on, let's do that again. We've seen her on leash, we've seen her not aggressive with treats, we've seen her with small dogs behaving very submissively. What I'd like to show next is how she does with big dogs. So I'm going to bring out two of my assessment Rottweilers, who are much, much bigger than her, and we'll see how they respond to her and how she responds. Okay, so here's Megan meeting Bella for the first time. And Megan's showing herself to be submissive to Bella, as you can see in her posture. And she's also meeting Aldo. Aldo, would you come over here? Come on, Aldo. Come on, Aldo. Come on, come say hi. There you go. And obviously, Aldo's a very big Rottweiler. And Megan is behaving absolutely perfectly with them to show that she is submissive to them. This is absolute perfect behavior in a dog that wants to be accepted. 
She's letting them do all their sniffing. Bella. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Aldo. Here you go. Megan, you just want to hang out with foster mom, huh? <laughs> yes. She's a little bit shy, but she's also interested in them. As you can see, she periodically wants to approach them, smell them a little bit, and then back off. Okay, so now I'm trying to push the introductions a little bit because Megan is being shy. Aldo, get back here. Okay, Aldo's seen something and is off on his own. But Bella, you're here, right? What do you think of Megan? What do you think of this girl? Huh? Come on, Megan. Come here. Come here. Sit. Bella. Okay. Sit. Tell me what you think of her. Okay? Tell me what you think of her. Nothing, huh? So she doesn't trigger any response in Bella. Bella can detect that she's very submissive, very well-behaved pup. Bella doesn't need to put her in her place, doesn't need to exert herself over Megan. She knows that Megan understands her role in the pack. Very good girl. I'm proud of you. Okay. So we've shown Megan to be very stable and safe with new people with big and do uh, dogs and small dogs. Um, I'd like to finish off tonight by showing you that she does well with cats. Hopefully, we're gonna do a cat introduction and show how she does with them. And I have a feeling you're gonna do just fine. So let's go see the kitty cats, okay? So here's Megan meeting Laura for the first time. We have Megan in the cat room. We've got two kitty cats in here with her. Oh. And Megan has actually lived with cats before, so we suspect she'll do quite well here. She's finally taking treats. Good girl, Megan. Very good with kitty cats. Excellent behavior. Well, the cats certainly don't seem to be afraid of her. Usually, Chimes likes to go hang out in the corner when there's a dog in here. But is feeling quite comfortable around Megan. Wow. This is one very 
very, very safe dog to have around all other animals and pairs. Okay, so we've shown that Megan is very stable and safe with new people. She has no aggression and no triggers for fear. Uh, she's very stable with large dogs and small dogs alike. She's very stable around cats. And she's very safe and stable in taking treats. So she's proven to be all around perfect, very gentle girl, very good addition to many different types of homes. So we hope you'll consider her for adoption and we think you'll be very happy with her sweet, gentle personality. You ready to say bye, Megan? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.